God help me. God help me. <laughs> this probably ain't never gonna happen again in life. <laughs> this is one for the history books, baby. I don't think I'm allowed to see that. Keep yourselves together. Y'all are doctors. Wait, why'd you call him? Toya. Seriously. Yes, Toya. Yes. Come through with the party. Yes. Interesting concept. I see now. Sippy paint cups, finger paint, and penises. <laughs> <laughs> now let's paint and sip. Now that we got some food, Aiden. So I heard you were a little bit angry about Toya's birthday party. I wish I was angry. He should be angry. I'm not gonna say I was angry. Should we be angry at you? Why? Because you knew what was happening. Yeah, exactly. You didn't tell, you didn't tell nobody. You wish to be angry at you. She said she was going to get some vendor paint. So vendor paint. So what you're saying is that you didn't know that this was going to happen. To that extent. I, th I thought it made news. You heard what happened to his wife, right? Do you know what we were talking about? No. Oh. I thought this was going to be men just standing in one place why the girls paint them? Well, these dudes end up being like male dancers. My wife texted me the picture. I was like, what the hell? Yeah. She was like, yo, yeah. you're not going to believe this. That's my wife in there, ain't right? it? That's your wife in there. Yeah, OK. She looked like butt, butt ass butt neck. Yeah. It should have been called sipping penis. My wife came home, and she was like, one of them kind of picked heavily up kind of seductively. I don't think he knew nothing about the penises, about getting picked up by one of the guys with the penis. I'll tell Damon I'm not happy about no dude touching my wife, but we're going to have a fun time when we do something, I'll tell you that. That's all I say. We'll have our own little feet, the women do. <laughs> Tired of people having fun, and we always the good guys. I know we've been putting on a little bit of a brave face for the kids, but you've been quite annoyed with me lately. I'm working my ass off, and you ain't appreciating it. Dealing with this stupid shit, boy. It's not like I signed up for this. Signed up for what? To be all by myself and taking care of the kids and running like crazy. You know, I mean, don't get me wrong. They my kids, they my responsibility, but Kids need their mom as much as they need their dad. I'm not abandoning my family. I'm not relinquishing my responsibility. And I'm not minimizing what you're doing, but I've been doing it since they were born. And I don't remember you telling me, you know what, you are overwhelmed and you need a little bit of a break. No, I always told you that. OK. We can afford for me to take a break. I need to hang up that white coat. My responsibility as a man is to provide for my family. So I'm with you. I was supportive of you doing a program in public health. I just didn't know it was going to be so far away. It's truly the best program. Really? You could say, I don't want you to go to that program, but you didn't say that. And that's how we got here. <sighs> I'm not going to tell you not to pursue your passion, not to pursue your dream. I just really need to know where your head truly is, because you were working your butt off. You weren't spending enough time with the kids. You said, I'm going to stop working so I can spend more time with the kids. And you jumped into the masters. Are you chasing something that I don't know about? You know what? It doesn't matter. It's neither here nor there. I withdrew from school. I'm Dr. Simone, and this is my husband, Cecil. To subscribe, click here. For more videos, click here.